The Ministry of Education and Sports has flagged off a team of 41 instructors and supervisors from different institutes who will attain training in road construction and oil and gas production at Coventry University and AFPA Vocational Training Center in France and Great Britain respectively. The standard of uh, training and delivery of TVET in Uganda has been wanting. So to measure up to the international standard, during the inception of the project, it was really recognized that it is important for uh, the instructors to also have some experience. The permanent secretary representative from the Ministry of Education and Sports, Ronald Chibelu Sekabembe, attests that the move will address existing gaps in the construction and oil and gas sectors. Taking them for offshore training in France and UK to get that specialized training, to make use of the equipment they, they have got over time, but also to, we want to see a knowledge change an attitude change among our people to do things differently in the so-called countries where we see. Basically, we are tapping into the knowledge of what we call the developed partners, and we bring those unique skills to the Ugandans. Beneficiaries say the move will boost local content and address labor gaps in the oil and gas sector during production. Uh, is to ensure that we train Ugandans who are job ready to participate in oil and gas and construction. Wamanga Joffrey, one of the beneficiaries, is optimistic that he will have an impact on his skills improvement. I expect to gain more skills or to improve on my skills on how to train people in the oil and gas field or in the field of electrical and to make our graduates employable in the field. We will be based on hands-on, on the skills that we learn from there. It's the ones that we transfer from there, to, from UK to our country, Uganda. This is the second cohort that will benefit the two projects of Uganda Skills Development Project and Albertine Region Development Training Projects under the Ministry of Education. Irene Faith Nantongo, Saddam Mobali, UBC News.